Hey guys, how are we? It's Funko time here. Well, it's Funko underscore time. Sorry I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. Um, I've just got a different phone. Um, I was on Android, now I'm back to Apple. Um, it's just so many things that Apple can do that Android can't, like uh, hack Pokemon Go. <coughs> so yeah, I'm back with an unboxing. It's been a while. Before I get on with the unboxing, um, I'll be at the last MCM uh, Comic Con. No. I'll be at the last MCM Comic Con of the year, which is MCM uh, Birmingham. So it's the last one of the year before they all come back again next year. Uh, JDF is doing uh, Liverpool Comic Con. It's his first appearance at Liverpool Comic Con. So I'm looking forward to meeting him. Uh, that's the 6th of March 2020. So looking forward to seeing JDF again. So let's get on with this unboxing, shall we? It's the Chucky from Charles Play Free. Um, these are quite cool. I got this from Smith's Toy Store. It was £10. So I might start collecting these. Um, so yeah, let's... I'm not going to unbox it because I normally wreck the boxes when I do that. So sorry guys. Um, I'll just uh, show you it from the box itself. So the box is in good condition. And then on the back you've got Charles Play Free. I didn't like the new one with Mark Camel. I don't know why they had to revert back to Charles Play. I wish they carried on with the original Chucky films. And for me, the storyline was a bit boring. And um, he wasn't as bad guy as such in it. He was, uh, he was kind of a good guy in the film. Um, befriending Andy, helping Andy, killing people who like annoyed him or tormented him. I don't know. But you had to plug Chuck in for a USB. I don't get it. It's just weird. They should have just kept the original Chuck in. Where it just kill people, you know what I mean? But put a good storyline in it. So, uh, but this Chuck in the new Charles Play movie, um, he had control over the whole house of the electrics, like the TV, radio. He had a retinal scanner for Pete's sake. Come on, man. You know, that's. That's not Chucky for me, and Mark Campbell, I don't think he played Chucky very well. You may disagree with me, but all I could think about was Luke Skywalker when he was talking, or the Joker when he was talking, you know, in the animated series, or Joker from Arkham games. But I didn't like the new Charles play, maybe you disagree, but uh, I think they should have stuck with the original Chucky, not the Charles play. I, shouldn't, I don't think they should have written it back to... The old Chucky Charles play films, but I don't know what do I know. I'm not a film director, you know, so I didn't like the new Chucky with Mark Camel, but never mind. But I do like these pops, so so I'm going to start collecting these now. Um, I think so, yeah. So it's the Chucky with the eating away at his face. I think this was the one where he's in the toy store at the end or the <coughs> toy factory. Well, I, I can't remember, it's, I've, it's been a long time since I've seen this uh, film. But it's all in good condition. Also, I'm doing a PP Joe giveaway, guys. Uh, I'm giving away 20 pop protectors. Uh, they came this morning. Um, head over to my Instagram, it's funk underscore time, and enter it. Uh, so, yes, that's a lot of pop protectors, guys. So it is. So yeah, uh, who doesn't want free pop protectors, right? So uh, yeah, uh, going into that, guys, and yeah, um, I'll I'll probably try and get another pop figure at MC in Birmingham on the sixteenth of November. Is Sean Astin is going from Lord of the Rings, uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, Stranger Things as well. So it's pretty cool. I'm thinking about getting my Soundwise Ganji GITD glow in the dark pop figure signed, but it's a lot of money, it's like £50 he's charging. So, so yeah, um, I might get it signed by him, I'm not too sure if I want to pay £50 for a signed pop figure by a has been. So, because uh, he's not doing much now, he's only doing, he only just previously done Big Bang Fury, so they're pretty much has been's most guests or celebrities at Comic Con, so. I don't know why they can charge a fortune for a signature. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the Chucky Special Edition. Pretty cool, I like it. 
It'd be better if it was glow in the dark, like if the face bit was glow in the dark. But I like this, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I did have another chucky one, but uh, I gave it away. But I'm going to start collecting these, uh, they're pretty awesome. We got them from Smith's Toy Store. They've got a 50% sale on at the moment. Uh, Entertainer Toys are getting a new wave of pop figures. Was it a golden Darth Maul and Yoda? Uh, they're getting Chrome Jokers in. Uh, Asda are getting the new uh, X Men Glow in the Dark exclusive ones in. I'm not too sure when they'll be in, but I think they'll be hitting the shelves soon. So they need more Power Ranger ones. We really do need more Power Ranger ones. So yeah, so yeah. Sorry for not taking it out, guys. I don't want to get it out because I wrecked the box. So. I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, unboxing slash information video. Dragon Ball. So if you are going to MC in Birmingham, I will be there. Come and say hey. I want it. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say there, guys. So I'll see you guys there if anyone is going. <sighs> Cheers. This stuff is lethal, guys. So I'm gonna go guys, thank you for watching this short video. Please like, subscribe, comment. I don't do it for the views or the subscribers. I just do it because I like doing uh, videos when I can or when I feel like doing one. So uh, yeah, see you later guys, thanks for watching.